Today I want to share with you how I prepare my sage to clean my home. So today we are going to I'm going to show you how I dry sage. I pick some sage. This type of sage will you only use this for smoking. This is not the sage that you would use for cooking, right? Just to smoke out your homes and stuff. Alright. So I pick this. Now if you also want to make um uh, to regrow your sage, so you want to do a cutting propagate. Yeah um your sage you will just from a cutting you will just cut it. Clean it out. You could use your fingernails and scrape it out, or you could use a knife, scrape it out after you cut it. That is, you make sure there is no leaves, and then you just replant it and let it grow. But today's video is about the sage that I'm going to dry so I can use to, you know, clean my home and stuff. So, what we're going to use to dry these, we're going to use some thread, you could use twine, and I have some brown paper back. Joke about this brown, these brown bags. My daughter is in her 20s, okay? And these bags was from her 11th birthday party. Now, how ridiculous am I? Hmm? I am really ridiculous. I don't show it anything of hers. I just love to keep stuff from her 11th birthday party. That was the last birthday party we kept for her because she wasn't into too much of the party stuff. And these were the last bags that I had from since her high level and she's in her twenties now. Oh my, so let's get back to this. So how am I going to do this? I'm just going to show you one example of how I am going to do this, okay? So we have the tread as I said. So let's say I want to my bags are small, so let's say I want to uh try this this piece here. Alright, so this is what I would do. I have this here. I take the tread. Now if you're using twine, it will be more thicker. So if you want, you can double up on the tread. So it will be more thicker, alright? And you want to wrap around this, like this. And then, you want to place it into your brown bag. And the edge, you want to take that, pull everything together like so, and that piece that you had shred in there, you just wrap around the bag just to tighten the bag, okay? And then you will cut it off, alright? And not this. And then you'll bore some holes into this bag. Apparently, I didn't walk with something to bore the holes. But you're going to bore some holes just so that air will pass through. And you would put this in a nice cool spot. Not too much where there is too much of sunlight. And not, not nowhere that the bag will start to get mold. And if you're seeing that happening any mold, you're going to throw that away and, and use another one. So this is how we are going to... Put this now when I say you wrap this around the excess of tread after you wrap this around the bag you want to leave extra so you can therefore use it to hang up the bag like this so you hang it up and leave it to dry for about three weeks so I would normally give this like a month and you'll have a lot of nice dry sage to use to your disposal and that's how easy I dry my sage Alright guys, so remember three weeks ago we put these babies to dry. So now let's see how the sage looks. It's three weeks now later, so let's see how it comes out. Alright, so we're not gonna use the bag. So I'm going 
going to now take out the rest. See how dry it is. I'm going to move them in the light once we are done. So let's move things along faster. For the next three, I'm going to speed it along, okay? Number four. So now you can just wrap them with the thread or you can just make one. The lighting is really terrible. So let me change the spot so I can show you what they look like dry. So this is what the black sage look like dried at three weeks. Normally for my personal use I would go between three to four weeks and I would take my time and knot them properly with wool, sometimes thread and use them to clean my home. Now you could use them as is, you don't need to just bring them together in one but it's much easier and you would control the smoke better if you just fold them tightly together. For example, the image you're seeing on your screen right now. It's so important sometimes to give your home a good clean because sometimes we bring so much negative energy within our space. And before I go, I wanna thank you all for the support. Happy holidays, be safe. Do remember we are in a situation now where we need to be mindful of our surroundings. And how do we do that? By following the rules, practice proper distancing. Okay, and before I go, don't forget to check out my previous video. Bye.